Hello, my name is Chris and I will review the 2021 Genesis G80. In Canada, there is the base 2.5 liter trim and the all equipped 3.5 liter trim. We get the all equipped version, it goes for $76,000 Canadian. The exterior is elegant, I think it is pretty good and that huge front grille is certainly interesting to look at. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I will give you the headline facts of G80 then take it out on the road. You get 20 inch wheels, it is an interesting phenomena in the car industry, the customer wants bigger and bigger mags and tires. With Genesis, things are always generous in terms of the shopping experience. They simply give you every option with a laser like focus on luxury. A few of the luxury highlights, all wheel drive, electronically controlled suspension, heads up display, Napa leather, soft closed doors, 21 speaker sound system, 16 way ergonomic seats with an ergonomic feature that helps posture and reduces fatigue by varying the seat form, but it's not a massage feature. From a tech point of view, you get an adaptive suspension that reads the road ahead and adapts in real time. Also, you get highway driving assist too, which is not hands free, but still will change lanes for you. The trunk is not that big and the rear seats do not come down. However, the rear seat room is plenty. Very nice. In front, G80 is really good and critically, you feel your money everywhere. I would argue that what differentiates the Genesis experience from the German experience is in the relative simplicity of the interfaces. This screen is pretty and the dash layout is pleasingly simple. It's not as flashy as the Germans, but it is as classy as the Germans. Critically, build quality is supreme, assembled like a tank. Also in passing on the highway, G80 is noise free. In the city, the suspension delivers extreme comfort. The engine is a V6 twin turbo that produces 375 horsepower and 391 pounds of torque with an eight speed automatic. It does 12.9 liters in the city and nine liters on the highway. I really like this car. It's total luxury and a great price that seduced me. Here are my thoughts on the road. Hello, car lovers driving the Genesis G80. 2021 what to say about this vehicle well it's all redone for 2021 and it is very good we'll start with the exterior uh, the pink color is actually incredible it's got like this these specks of of, of like aluminum it seems all broken up and it, it, it shines and it goes well with the, the, the mags and the mags are very beautiful and they're easy to clean I like that as a detailer so pretty awesome on that level it looks good from the side it looks good from the rear from the front I think it's debatable and and this car is in competition with Europe Europe is essentially a styling continent where they have good taste good design and these vehicles are all about uh, design so in that sense well this front end you either like it or you don't however Genesis being a can-do company they said, you know what, if we, we can't be better looking than them, we'll do everything else better. And I would argue they tried really hard with this interior. I'm going to talk about a few, a few of the highlights. The rear trunk is not that awesome. It's not that big. There's no fold down seats, which is maybe annoying, especially when you're driving around winter tires. However, rear seat room is very good. There's shades for everyone, making it very comfortable from sunlight, especially on a day like this where it's very, very hot. There is a nice panoramic roof. The touch points, the interface of the touch points, very high quality. Uh, you'll notice things like just moving your seat. The electric uh, seat mover is, uh, or seat adjustment, I should rather say, is has a soft, gentle movement. It, it, it's, it's less choppy than others, I would seem. So I think it's something that some, the pan, the organizer, would like perhaps in his car one day, I should think. <laughs> Other things I like about this vehicle, well, this digital dash is nuts. It's, it, looks, it looks almost like, I can't, like at the beginning I had to look twice to see if it was digital or not. You also have a wonderful infotainment screen, easy to use climate control, hard buttons for the infotainment, and a, a, a somewhat cool dial, but not that much. It, it's okay. It's a rotary interface. We're reinventing the wheel again. The seats are comfortable, good visibility and uh, a feeling of luxury and this this build quality which is on level i mean the germans are no longer the kings of build quality i mean this this vehicle feels so solid i'm driving on montreal's horrible roads it's taking the bumps effortlessly effortlessly we went on the highway for quite some time uh, there was absolutely no wind noise uh, we can talk you could have passengers in back you can talk with them you're not going to be straining so the core luxury task in fact if you think about it i mean 
uh, Genesis really goes into that luxury angle. It, it really does. It doesn't try to take that sporty angle at all. And I, I think that's what most people want uh, who are shopping these vehicles. I mean, I know a lot of people who have uh, memberships at the gym. They never go. I mean, they rarely ever go. They don't look that fit. They certainly claim to be. And I think this vehicle appeals to that person. I mean, it's just so comfortable. I love it here. And, I, and I've always had like a bit of a hard-on for Genesis ever since I've tried the G90. Something I like about this vehicle that its competitors really don't have is you don't need an instruction manual to use this. You just get into the car and you go. I love that especially at this high level when I spend all this money I don't want to be fumbling in the instructions manual so very good on that level the high-end sound system plays well the climate control interface very well done that's a highlight I mean it's 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 got this touch touchpad like interface for the climate control all in all the, the, the issue that comes up and Ross mentioned it on the French version is that uh, the, 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 this category of car this is usually a car that somebody will buy after having worked very hard, after having hustled, sometimes after studying a lot, uh, all those things together. Uh, people buy these usually in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, and, and they want a token of their success. They want an easily recognizable token of their success, which, which the German competitors can deliver, and which Genesis, Ross remarks, isn't quite there yet. It's a great remark he makes, and I think that is to be noted for the prospective buyer. Having that said though, if you're putting that aside, this is definitely a worthy vehicle of your consideration. Consider the five-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, the five-year powertrain warranty with unlimited kilometers, which is, which is amazing, the Hyundai extra care service that they give you. They bring a car to your house, they take care of all the maintenance for the first five years, 100,000 kilometers, and they leave you with a car for the day. That is very high level in terms of service. It's included in the price. It's not an extra. A relative higher quality uh, in terms of reliability versus the German competition, which is not negligible for the purchase. So uh, very, very good, very, very strong entry from, from Genesis. Uh, certainly highly recommendable on the lease, highly recommendable on the purchase as far as I'm concerned. One of the best in the category, I think. And that is the review. By the way, if you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. And if you really like it, well then of course, you should subscribe. And that is it.